Yin Di Tan Rab. Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve this math Olympiad question. Now this question looks a bit peculiar, weird, right? Strange kind of a question we have here. 1 half plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 cubed plus 1 over 2 raised to 4 plus 1 over 2 raised to 5 and so on. It continues and you have to find the sum of that. So how are we going to do that? How should we do it? How, how to solve this question? So there's one smart way to get around this crazy question is you have to let you have to suppose that this whole equation is equal to x now i'm going to write that okay here let let x is equal to the same whole equation one half plus one over two squared plus one over two cube plus 1 over 2 raised to 4, plus 1 over 2 raised to 5, and so on. And now, let this be equation 1. After this, what we are going to do is, we are going to multiply both sides by half. Multiply both sides by half. Left hand side is the right hand side. So, when you multiply half with x, it becomes half x is equal to multiply half with half it becomes 1 over 2 squared again multiply one more half with this becomes 2 cube this becomes 2 raised to 4 plus 2 raised to 5 and it goes on and on let this be equation 2 now what can we do well, what do you think we have to do here is Yes, from now we're going to subtract. You're going to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So, when you do subtract equation 2 from equation 1, what will happen? Let's see. That's minus, 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 minus. You're going to subtract everything. So, 1x minus half x. 1 minus half is half x. That's what you get. Is equal to half is there. 1 by 2 squared minus 2 squared cancelled. 1 by 2 cubed plus minus 1 over 2 cubed cancelled. 1 over 2 raised to 4 minus 1 over 2 raised to 4 cancelled. 1 over 2 raised to 5 minus 1 over 2 raised to 5 cancelled. And cancel all of them. So on. So you're only left with half that I'm going to write it. So one half x equals to half. Now it's easy for us to solve for x. Now you've already got your answer. X is equal to just cross multiply. It's dividing to it multiply 2 over 2. That's equal to 1. So you've got your value x is equal to 1 and that's your answer choice B. So I hope this question is useful and you're going to use this kind of tricks and you have these kind of questions. So if this is useful, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care. Have fun.